Tulsi Gabbard on the response to the Maui wildfires. Do y'all know who that is? Nope. Nope. She is an American politician, United States Army Reserve officer, and political commentator who served as a U.S. representative for Hawaii's second Congress. Congressional. Congressional. It's a big word. Remember <laughs> <laughs> no, you was laughing at me reading? I know. <laughs> Sound out, big guy. District from 2013 to 2021. Eight years. So, Can I see what she looked like? Let's see if I've seen it. So we can't say she doesn't have any information. But she's credible. About Hawaii. All right, let's start she's her pretty credible. So she lives there? She on she Joe was, Rogan. She was a congressional. <laughs> so obviously she lived there, bro. She had to live there to be a congressional district member. Representative. Hey. Okay, I think she's a Democrat, I think. It says it right there, Democratic. I got Until a question. 2022. So was Barack, was Barack Obama was a senator for Illinois? Yes. Okay, so she, she supports making community college tuition free for all Americans. Oh, she was a Democrat. Go ahead, start it up, though. I want to see what she got Bernie to say, Bernie Sanders. Because I don't okay. have much to say, really. I don't know who she is. This has been one of the big failures around... Uh, the aftermath of the wildfire on yeah, Maui is yeah. this total vacuum of of information from government officials to the people. And uh, in that vacuum, obviously people have all kinds of ideas or theories or this or that, but people were left without any kind of communication from anyone in a position of authority to provide help yeah, yeah, yeah. for days and weeks. That's sad. And problem. it created massive problems. And so, you know, uh, the immediate line of response needed to come from the county and from the mayor and from their emergency response director. And unfortunately, uh, they did not communicate. They're still not communicating. There's still a huge lack of transparency and therefore an increasing level of uh, distrust in any of the any of the levels of government how can the government fail a state so bad yeah no she's completely right i think that's why there's so many conspiracy theories and stuff because it, the government did such a bad job of communicating with these it people. seems set up they said remember they had they couldn't like talk to nobody on the phone for days and stuff so they had no we probably couldn't see tv so they probably had no idea like what was actually going on so everybody's gonna come up with an idea yeah. that explains it seems set up man the government should have definitely did more for them people man can't them other people go to the other side of the island as well? Because yeah, we checked last time, it was pretty. The island was pretty big. But like if it's your house got burnt and you can't call or text nobody, I mean you're not rich either. I mean, yeah, but you gone if, hand you build a house. Family, yeah, if you got nah. family or something, <laughs> no, they living like, in shelters. Like right where the houses was burnt, like they couldn't just go to a better side of the island and wait. And wait where on the something. beach? Wait right. on the beach and eat it's, shit out the water? Man, you remember they was all on the west side of the islands that got okay. caught burnt up. But Taj, if your home is built, we're uh, burnt. Where are you gonna go? Yeah, I'll try to, to the go. shelter. Yeah, so they're gonna stay in the shelter on the burnt side of the island. No, I mean they might have went to a different side of the island. I don't know. What you saying? I'm just saying, like doesn't like, matter, bro. The government failed them. And therefore an increasing level of uh distrust in any of the any of the levels of government that should be bending over backward to, to answer questions and to say, hey, here's what we're going, yes. here's what's going on every single day, here's what we're doing, here's what we're trying to do, here's what we're having a hard time doing, whatever the case may be, um, it, it has just, it, it's it's been a major problem from do the you, beginning. Sad. Do you think that this is a complete lack, because of a complete lack of preparedness, that this is an unprecedented type of disaster, it never happened before. It happens and they just weren't prepared. They don't know what to do. And they just, it's incompetence. I think that that is very true. Um, and there's, you know, in hindsight, there are things going back as, you know, Maui has experienced drought year after year after year. Brush fires are a common occurrence, especially on the west side of Maui, uh, where Lahaina is, the, the, the side of the island that was most most impacted by this. Um, you know, it is, you know, being prepared for wildfires on Maui is something. Is that Joe Rogan breathing? No, that's somebody here. <laughs> but one of y'all got to chill with that shit. Somebody. I, I thought it was Joe for a second. I I'd like, be hearing that video if I just stop saying something. Side of the island that was most, most impacted by this. It's Joe. Um, you know, it is, you know, being prepared for wildfires Ooh, wow. on Maui is something that if you look at their, you know, emergency assessment documents, uh, it's mentioned almost as as a bit of an afterthought. Maui Fire has been vastly undermanned and under-resourced for quite some time. So there's all these different things you can look at from a preparedness level that that should have been addressed long before. But from uh, you know the you know the county officials, uh, yes, they were completely overwhelmed and unprepared. 
uh, for Eight this unprecedented crazy. wildfire. It's the worst wildfire our country Bro, has seen. Okay. Joe yeah, Joe so going hard. Crazy. Goodness gracious. <laughs> but, okay, ain't Maui have a volcano on their island? Volcano, well, the island yes. is a volcano. Okay, so, like, how can they not prepare for that? Because what, the yeah, what happened if the island erupted? erupted. Yeah. I yeah. think that's the point they're trying to make. Like, this, this, how could you not be prepared? prepared. For yeah, this something yeah. like, that's kind of like the same they, incident. They've had droughts, several droughts for years and fires for years. So, so like, you got to be better prepared. Definitely. So that's I forget weird. their estate sometimes, you know? You said what? I forget their estate Hell sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I forget their estate. Them and Alaska. Them seem just like... Paired uh, for this unprecedented wildfire. It's the worst wildfire our country has seen in over 100 years. Wow. Uh, but the problem is, once you get to that point, like, oh, shit, this is really, really, really bad. Not only in, in the hundreds of lives lost in that fire, but the surrounding so communities crazy. of people who who survived but who went without power who went without any cell phone signal any ability to communicate with people who yeah, didn't have you know all of the gas yeah, stations in their neighborhood they were empty there was no way to get gas they couldn't, couldn't get drive. food they couldn't so get clean that. water the Couldn't. water uh, supply systems were contaminated. I mean, all of there there was Jeez. disaster upon disaster that came in the aftermath of the fire that went unaddressed. And my why they can't go to the other side of the island, nigga? They gonna walk through the fire? Well, they was closer to the water, so so uh, what? So they was gonna get on the boat, burnt boats? No, like come on, like it's like come they, on. They, they think if one side of Houston caught on fire, you could still go to the other side of Houston. How I'm gonna walk? Well, you probably can. <laughs> the island is not bro. that big. The Shut island up, is not it that is big. Pretty big. How, how big is it? Pretty big. What's the size? Give me a reference size. It doesn't matter, bro. They, they got that all Their house like, is house on fire, so you got some belongings. You're gonna walk. You might have kids. Chaos it's more safe. You can't more get safe. food. No you food. Act like the, you act like the other side of the island is just like walking distance. Like you think it's that small? Like I, make an informed decision. Really. I think I think Houston's shit way bigger than Maui. I think Maui's about yeah. Man, Maui is Maui. one. It's like one city in Hawaii. Okay, so how big would one, that one city would be? But, uh, still, but you walking uh, in the Hawaii. Of a uh, Maui is seven hundred twenty-seven miles. So that's pretty big. That's, that's pretty, pretty fucking big. big. So go ahead, just walk <laughs> walk about yeah. two hundred forty miles. Yeah. With your whole family, all your belongings. No water or like, food. Like, like seriously, think about that, that before hey, you say that. That, is, that was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that's better than just staying on the side that's fucked up. That's that's just me. Dude, I was gonna say, like, gonna walk over there. How do you do it though? You can walk over we there. Can't, you can watch the coastline. Up. It's an island. It's not no damn. Well, I'm pretty <laughs> sure some might, some people might have thought of that. Some people might have did it. But we can't say what they should have done. No, I ain't saying it. I said I, well, I we not in that position. But yeah, yeah, it was so up. hold on. So you one whole side of the island had no 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 satellite, no nothing. So like that didn't affect the whole island. I don't know. We don't. I don't know. I don't know. But it affected the people in Maui. That's all we know, brother. Maui's the whole island. It only affected like a small part, the west side of the island. Okay. Okay. It was just like it's like I'm Sorry, trying to figure over a hundred people died, bro. I know. What are you saying? What no, are I'm you just trying saying, to say? So the whole so did the whole island get affected? Like you saying no. like they said the power we've, and all that. We've seen pictures of where the fire started. A lot of the island is probably so like how, how grass. We don't know. The how? island could be a lot of. I mean, not, I mean woods, bro. I think the issue here, man, is you got to put yourself in the shoes, right? Like you, just the able you, just by yourself. Yeah, okay, you could walk. But if you got a family of five, you got a five year old kid, three year old kid. Two year old kid, you got a wife, you got all y'all shit. Yeah. Your house is on fire. Can't call nobody. Can't drive nowhere. I'm not saying that. And I'm, saying how, I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. confused. It, would, it would take you a couple of days to walk 240 freaking I, miles. I'm just confused. Like to walk where? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I just don't, drink, where? Drink, I just don't think that's away. like a realistic suggestion. Oh, it's burning. Just walk away from it. So what they supposed to live off the, the land like the old Samoans or something? Bro, I think there's more cities than just that city. On there's there. plenty I mean, of cities yeah, than that city, but it's probably going right closer. This city is 727 miles. How are they gonna get to the other city within walking distance? Bro, this city is 700 miles. Did you see that video? I'm on the clip. But no, did you see that that's, video? That's like literally uh, like not as like serious. The people that was driving through the fire and the lady that was on the ground on yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah I remember going. that. So like, walk through what? that. Go ahead, walk right through that, man. That's just not even like a serious like uh, yeah. suggestion. Yeah, walk 700 there, there miles was to the next town. Disaster upon what? disaster that came in the aftermath of the fire that went unaddressed. And my biggest, I I, I went there a few days after uh, the fire happened. Maui was my district for eight years when I served in Congress and uh, had a lot of friends there and went out to those affected communities. And what I heard over and over again was no one from the county, the state or the federal government has shown their face wow. in our community. See, it is sad. neighbors helping neighbors, families helping families, people on the island of Molokai, which, you know, 
they they don't have much on their island. Everything comes in by barge. They're loading up whatever they have in their general store on these little boats and, and running them they over to West Maui them, on a private boat dock because that was the only place that they wouldn't be blocked from bringing food and water and medical supplies. Now, why are people being blocked? I keep hearing that about people being blocked. Is it because they haven't gotten an accurate death count? Is it because they have okay, to Okay, I'm sorry. We can't blame it on Joe. It might be the other guy. No, it's another guy next to them. Because oh, no, Joe's they talking now and the breathing is still going. What they mean by being blocked? What do you mean? Yeah, you didn't hear what he just said? He said they're blocking, blocking them. He's about to explain it. Lies. Now, why are people being blocked? I keep hearing that about people being blocked. Is it because they haven't gotten an accurate death count? Is it because they have to make an assessment? of how much was damaged and it's so ma massive it's so vast that they haven't been able to do that yet like why is it being blocked think things are things so things are being opened up now i think people are able to to get in and out of the west maui area i understand that the the historic town of lahaina uh, is still being blocked off and they're they're working on reopening it um as we speak but in yeah, the so in the in couple of weeks after the Dang, fire that would be insane. i don't have a good answer why they continue to block the roads again to those surrounding communities why they had why they blocked people like kai lenny and others from using their jet skis and boats to try to bring supplies in through the water um you That's could say crazy. well we want we were trying to secure the area but you're blocking you're blocking friends and family from coming in and bringing necessary yeah, supplies, literally sense. doing supply runs. So, oh, so what I just know, said, I, I jumped bullshit. on a, a plane that was like doing that supply runs from Kahului, the main airport on Maui, uh, out to this tiny little airport um, uh, that serves that community. And that was, for a lot of days, the only way that they could get supplies uh, brought in. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But again, this goes back to why aren't you communicating to people? what's going on and why you're doing what you're doing all all the result of their decisions left people and families and communities stranded in their most dire time of need money grab and the mayor didn't hey, go out and show his over. face until almost two weeks after the fight so they're keeping them people from not even leaving the west side of maui that is insane that is some whole stuff shit. coming in that's, that's the most that's that, the biggest problem so maybe it's like they're trying to like really no. like see who's still alive but on top of that they're like not counting up who's alive and who's not that's yeah. weird though like just to get stats I, I, yeah just to get some stats yeah that's man. like a hurricane a having, grab. that's what, like what us having a hurricane they, they have to accurately like report the death and things like that. They could count yeah, the bodies, reason, but what about the living yeah. people? Yeah, what's yeah. Uh, it sucks, but they gotta have. This is why you gotta have a plan. I don't think they can yeah, accurately do it anyway. You don't really know. Yeah, some people bodies burnt all the way yeah. down to ashes. So like, people gonna that, be missing that's, for weeks. That is weird. That somebody gotta fix. That's that. That's what makes me think it's uh. Cause that's why I said what I said, and y'all said I was tripping for saying what? that. What? Saying they should have just left. Like after the fire, they should have not stay there. That that's me personally. I will not stay in that. Like brother, they just said that some of them couldn't. Yeah, they just said they blocked them. Okay, so how that's, that? that's 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 why I'm saying what I said. Then make no matter no more because that's crazy. They yeah, blocking they them in leave. that they shit. Couldn't leave. That's some whole ass shit. What happened? That's insane. It's crazy. And it then just, says he, he, well, he wants to take the land for the state. That's his first Now, word. this is well, I think one the of the governor. reasons, yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, one the of governor. the reasons why Sorry. I wanted to talk about this. Like, how is that possible? That these people could lose their home and then lose their land? Like, how is that possible? It, it, Money is, it is the number one concern of people there uh, in Lahaina mm -hmm. is that a few days after this happened, I haven't spoken to the governor. But he said in a press conference, he said, we're talking to the attorney general. He said, I'm talking to my attorney general to explore options for the state to take over that land wow. and use it to build workforce housing or build a memorial to the li for, for the people so who insane. lost their lives. That's insane. But the fears Hold that on, the man. people in Hold Lahaina on, have, man. some of whom like Archie Kalepa, famous, famous surfer, community leader, Native Hawaiian leaders, family has lived in Lahaina for nine generations. Damn. Now being told, well, the state, the governor is looking at taking that land, taking ownership they of that land. They can't vote on that? No, that, I would fight for that. I'm not gonna it, lie. It is Can you unconscionable. Have guns in, in Hawaii? And there's, oh, sure. you know, we'll, we'll, I'm you know, for those who've been that. displaced, we'll see about doing a land swap, and we'll send you to the Big Island to live in Puna. Jesus, it's it, taking away the sovereignty of people's rights to have a say over their home. In many cases, their generational land is very suspicious. Is that is, is very uh, weird. it it is such an abuse. Of power, and so this is, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad this that there Biden are leaders in the out. community who are 
leaning into this yeah, fight always lean. to make sure that they are fighting this fight before anybody tries to do that rather than looking in the rearview mirror and saying, gosh, I wish we had done something. But just imagine a governor going on television after a massive tragedy where you have, we don't even know the number of people dead yet. You have this massive area that's been burnt to the ground. Yeah. And then he starts talking about taking it over from, for the state. That's an insane position that to is, take that is. That is. post-tragedy. Yeah. When and people I, I, are suffering at their most, they can't yeah. even believe it happened. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he's saying, we're going to take it for the state and make a yeah. memorial? Yeah. How about give the fucking people their homes it's back? Facts. Exactly. You know, one of the things yeah. we went over yesterday, I'll make some money off that, which is a crazy number. We were looking at the amount of money crazy. that was accidentally sent to Ukraine. Like they, they, they accidentally six billion. <laughs> how, you accidentally? <laughs> well, how much would it what? cost? Let me sign off on it on accident. Yeah, I'm tired. I accidentally shit, sent you four hundred dollars on cash app, man. What? <sighs> okay, now this is pissing me off. This don't, is getting. This people, is why people are talking about dethroning in a lot of shit, bro. Hey, you can't make this shit up. No, nah, you, you can't, can't make this shit. You couldn't make it up. We accidentally sent Ukraine eight billion, then our own state burnt. Up, but we couldn't give them no money because we accidentally gave them eight billion. I don't know why we. And we gonna take that shit. I don't know why we gave Ukraine any money. I've been saying that since I first heard we was even helping Ukraine. I was like, number one, what have Ukraine ever done for us? So number two, why do we care? I'm just. This is mind blowing. I just can't believe they just throw. Now I ain't gonna lie. I wish the conspiracy theory sound right now. If they taking their land like that, so in my opinion, though, so many though because they said it was Oprah who did it. Yeah. N not started the fire. They said she was. <laughs> we was in that. Remember, I said I literally said so. Y'all said Oprah said. Nah. Y'all remember that? Do y'all remember me saying to do that? She might be just trying to come up the off the tracks. The video was legend, though. People are upset saying because she's trying to come up off the tracks. I think the, I can see this is the most accurate conspiracy. This is not a conspiracy. It's not really a conspiracy. conspiracy. This is the she's most accurate with, theory. Yeah. But she, she actually knows shit. She's, she's coming, not really a theory. She's saying, she's yeah, they coming, try to say oh, she's like BLM. Land. Land. They try to say she's like, like BLM. Like the government, they're taking see, the land. I, I, she's I, buying land too. I don't see that. That's like, I haven't seen concrete evidence about that. What, she's buying land? Currently. I don't understand no, how y'all say this is a theory when she's just saying what happened. No, 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 no she's saying not a basically it's not a the government, well, it's not there at all. Because if the government buys land and then there is no theory so about So wait, you don't think Oprah, Oprah, Oprah bought land in Maui? Bro, like, she, she she's been buying land in Maui. The fire. Years ago. Yeah, that's they, my point. Let's say she bought after some, the fire. Then the fire happened. So you Bruh. think the fire burnt and then she bought people's land? You know how bad that would look? That's why they, he said it looked bad for the government. Hold on. She probably did it under the LLC. So I don't think that Oprah and The Rock and the government are all working together. Yeah, they probably just trying to, you know. I think that's a ridiculous. I think we've also the government is definitely hey, it's them. But that's crazy. They just steal your land like that after a natural disaster. That feel like shit. I feel like that means. And then shit. the rock, the rock. I was seeing the rock got all that backlash because it wasn't because like they were saying that because he didn't give enough money to the foundation. That's why they were upset. But see, but they donated money to well, start the millions, foundation. Though. He gave multiple millions. He gave two but, mil. Him and Oprah each. But look, then, then, then like, you're a millionaire. That's not enough. Then they started the foundation and said, "This is not, it's not even his job." Save the world like this. The government. This is the Bro, government this dude job. Has, emergency situation. This dude has so much other stuff going on. Y'all want him to just give it. See, this is the problem. And then the Red Cross is not helping them. This is some whole ass shit. So the government can take their land. No Red Cross helping them. You're blocking them from getting food. You're not letting the people leave the, the west side of the island to go to a more safer side of the island. And you see, this is the girl who we, she knows the most probably about this outside that I've heard so far, and she didn't mention a word about Oprah or The Rock or none of that. You're not letting other. I was help. She just spoke about the facts. No, the government is definitely a problem. Yeah, they, they, but they handled it horribly. When you look it up on the internet, it does say Oprah recently bought, you know, some Bro, land I mean, in You know what the internet, that don't mean nothing. Exactly. You know, one of She's not more powerful than the government, though. Which is I'm a crazy saying. number. We were looking at the amount of money that was accidentally sent to Ukraine. Like, they, they, they mm -hmm. oversent six billion. <laughs> Like that and then I said, well, how much would it cost to rebuild every house in the Maui fire? And it's $5 billion. Wow! That has to be a they, joke. That's just like accidental money. But there's no talk of doing that. There's no Goodness talk of doing gracious. that. Isn't that interesting? The, the way, I'd rather pay my tax had, dollars for that. It's happened two or three times. I would not be bad at my tax said, dollars oh, with we you that, Not at all. They, that's just like accidental money. Yeah. But there's no talk of doing that. There's yeah. no talk of doing that. Isn't that interesting? The, the way, the way, and it has, it's happened two or three times now where the Pentagon has said, oh, we miscalculated how much money we had set aside for Ukraine. So we have an extra $4 billion to send now that we didn't know we had. And this has happened a few times. Secretary of State Tony Blinken went to Kiev yesterday 
promising, hey, we're going to give you another billion now. And this is the thing. When I was out there in Maui, person after person was like, Tulsi, tell me what would happen if we started to call ourselves Ukraine? You think they would give us some money then Why? to take care of our families, right. to put, to <laughs> fix our roofs, you know, yeah. that, that have been torn up by the hurricane winds that came through to make sure we have clean water to drink? You think they might pay attention to us then? And then, the, and then FEMA comes out, the FEMA director comes out and does this press conference, I think it was at the White House, and she says, well, somebody said, well, what are you doing for Maui? She's like, oh, we're giving a one-time $700 payment to everybody who's been impacted by That's the wildfire. A one-time $700 payment. It's insane. Hawaii has the highest cost of living in the entire country. <sighs> the entire country. And how freaking insulting is it? to have the repres the lead disaster response administrator from the Biden administration stand there and proudly say, hey, we're giving everybody one $700 payment. It's insane. It's sad. And it's yeah, it's insane. disgusting. I just don't understand how like, we haven't like addressed all this stuff going on in America and we just keep like sending money overseas and keep getting involved in stuff overseas. Like I just, as an American person, I just truly don't see why we give a shit. Like I don't see why we let people in the country from other countries, don't care, we'll close the borders. Why are we sending money to Ukraine? Who cares about Ukraine? Like, no, I, it's bad, but like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. If I would have seen, oh, Russia just raided Ukraine, I'm gonna read the news article. Damn. Yo, y'all trying to get some food? <laughs> I don't fucking care. It doesn't affect me in any way. And like, I just don't understand why I think the government because, takes I taxes think, from us and sends it away. I think it's because they're like our ally. So basically, if they like Russia to, was to invade Ukraine, it would make us look pussy. Wow. I don't think they're our ally. They're, they're not our ally. What think, value do they have? I think we have- They're not part of NATO. Them. I would rather be allies so what with times do we have Russia. They, they, I think- uh, I if we, if we go to war, are they gonna save us? No, I think no, I'm not saying they no. can help us, but I'm saying the US definitely has ties with them. I'm just kidding. No, they're, they're not part of NATO. 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 So they they they're trying, just, they're trying to on, get let in. So you just think they just up and just decided to help them out of just Because I think they it's close to what country is right beside Ukraine on the other side of Ukraine? Is it Germany? I think it's Russia. No, not Russia. I'm talking about going west. It's another country. No. Okay, this was, no, I mean, China, fool. I don't know. Google's been bullshit lately, but it says our aid to Ukraine isn't charity. It's in our own national security interest as we determine how to totally. best support Ukraine's sovereignty against Russia's unprovoked and illegal war. That's literally what I just I said. I don't give a fuck about Ukraine's sovereignty. I'm sorry. I'm a nationalist. I'm very much a nationalist. I would rather see us put billions of dollars into the U.S., fix the water in Michigan, fix the houses in Hawaii, than care that Ukraine's getting blown up and taken. <laughs> I promise you, I would not lose any sleep knowing that they got taken. I'm keeping hunting. I got. I would lose sleep knowing that if we if our shit burn up right now, we ain't gonna get no money, but they gonna get it. I would lose. I would lose sleep if you know people that didn't have anything to do with it are dying. I hate that. I think it's just because they, boy, they're not they American. Just, they feel I know, like they but, but I, 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 they don't. I, I, they don't, I, I, they don't I, I, live for the red, white, and blue. I, I, I don't care. When I see, when I see, I don't care. When I see random kids dying, I feel bad. When I see random kids dying, America, I America, America is different, bro. You hey, don't hey. understand. America, since they're the most powerful what, what, country, the most superpower, they feel like they gotta help other countries. What 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 did what does the United say? They've been doing We're not. That. That's tough. But they've I don't been care. doing that like World War Two. What was World War Two? We the world yeah. or something? Uh Germany from the Nazi shit. Well, Man, we, we actually we, wasn't even part of it until they bombed America. Yeah, they bombed. Yeah, bombed. So we were okay. we was a full nationalist country. We didn't care about what was going on but over they, there. They do now though. You know what's a bigger deal? So it's because it's because you know it's a bigger deal. Party that's in, you but know, they do. You know, so you know what's what more important with? to me than saving Ukraine? So become the president and do something about Bricks. it. Bricks. Over, over 1,500, it said children have been killed See, in Ukraine. Yeah, that is messed up. Damn. So, you know. I don't want, I don't, I don't think them children is worth 30 billing US dollars. I'm keeping it 100. I wouldn't I don't know, man. You know, I'm all for the children, man. I see the problem. Uh, I do see I'm why. I'm all for the children. I, I, see, I see both sides. I'm just keeping it 100. It's, it's definitely stupid. We should just, definitely. I would rather see all that billions go to the people in Hawaii. No, definitely. Than go, I see a single penny go to Ukraine. Okay. Like, in my opinion. I don't see why we should care. Why? I really don't. But you know, Joe Biden makes money from Ukraine. Like, he's made, him and his son have made millions of dollars from that. They said over 20,000 kids have been abducted by Russia. Yeah, Russia is a problem. So, why the neighboring countries? Countries beside Ukraine don't send money and aid. They probably ain't got none. They ain't got no. What power. you mean? Don't countries make? Man, we countries USA captain save a hole. We already know that. The USA United States captain save a hole. That's, that's a, problem. a problem. That is a problem. That hurts too. As, as a nationalist, I see that as a problem. But you know, when you're a powerful man, if I'm a powerful man, I that's can't lie. If I see yeah. children hurting. 
They I help children. Do. That's I would, me. I would rather help U.S. children. <laughs> No, yeah, we definitely crazy. have kids over here being abducted and shit like that. We have problems on our own. Definitely. There's problems so, everywhere. I mean, yes. I just, I still don't think just like just because fifteen hundred kids dies war, they're gonna die. I what about the kids in Iraq that was getting blown up? Yeah, that was a problem. The U.S. Had That's a problem. People there. Well, we was there yeah, for we was there for oil. But we're still trying to power help. change. No, it's I not. Just, it's, I, no, I just don't. We're see not how there. Y'all keep it hundred, y'all. We're not there to just help people. It's behind money. Let's keep it hundred. So don't think we're just there to help people. Stop but thinking that. Joe Biden's but making money off of stop this. Stop thinking that. But we can't say that they that's part of the reason, too. No, that is the main reason why we're over. Okay, yeah, say that was the main reason. That's the main reason. That's part of the reason. We're going to help these kids while we're there. I don't, yeah, think, yeah. I don't think. I don't, I don't think that's that. I don't my think motive. they're there but, for children. But I mean, it's just kids all. all over the world. Yeah. That's not their motive. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think they're there for we, children. We, we, at all. Yeah, we, we all technically have no fucking. Clue. No, no they're no like I said. They're there for money and power. That's the I, only I, reason I, you're there for. I, I just personally like like why are we sending so many billion? If they said like four billion dollars could repair almost all the houses, you know, I think they should still do that for sure. You know, y'all want to know what's something crazy? That comes from us though. We just pay for that. Y'all want to know what's crazy? When we had a horrific hurricane in Louisiana. Our president was there the next day. Trump was there giving a the speech, made sure the bridge got fixed. Why that boy Biden didn't go to Maui and he see them people? Why he ain't going to see them people, bro? I think it's a government grab, bro. Nah, I that, do too. Well, why didn't you see them people, bro? I do too. Bro. I think the it's money to be grab. made there. It's money to be made there that's untapped. And I'm going to keep it a hundred too. I to be made that. there. We don't hey, know. Like tourist said. money, bro. Not even the tourist money. They probably, do, they probably make a new military base. And they can do with anything. Them. Yeah, it could be. It's a money grab, definitely. Let's get these people out of here. Like they did the Native Americans. This is sad. That's crazy. That was an insane statement. It's insane. And it's insane. Money power. Especially because of how much money we're sending to Ukraine. Yeah. Because there's there can be no doubt that these things are financially motivated now. It been financially motivated. Why are we acting? I still, uh, I still don't care about Ukraine. Like nah, nothing I, I anyone definitely. nothing anyone says will make me care about nah, that. Me either. I definitely I'm just keep it behind it. No, I'm I keep don't it behind care about them at all. Like zero. No, I keep no, it behind it too. I'm Not sorry, I, I just really don't. Like, it's just all this money that we just keep sending over there for what? And then, like, it's. It's, causing, it's, it's, money it's, causing, crazy, it's causing more problems than I In our country, yeah. 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 they're making that, that five billion. billion. They're making the interest How rate going higher because of that. Money. A lot of our businesses and a lot of people are failing businesses because, you know, but it taxes is, and it is, the cost it is, of living is not, it's not so simple, though. It is not so simple. It's not. It's not. I don't it's really know simple, much, like, but from what I do if, know. If people are just dying and, and if Russia takes... So Russia, if Russia takes over Ukraine, is that a problem for the United States? No. We don't know. It could be. How? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. We don't know. That's what I'm saying. I feel like we should show that we homies with Russia. Like, yo, y'all took them down. But this is how, this how I, I feel, know, personally. What's up? Why is the neighboring states are not helping them? And they, they, have mo- they have money. They have more money than we do. Who? Are you sure? Who? Switzerland. A lot of them countries but over there in Europe military, got more bro. money than us. They'll have more powerful military. We're, we're, not, not, we're, not, we're not sending no military. You know, you know we're sending money. You know who should have did something before we did? That's true. Europe. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Europe is a continent. That's what I'm saying. The neighboring states. Well, I'm just saying the UK and the British countries. and all them. Yeah, they they, they, they did got something like before economy money, but they don't have like a military budget money, I don't think. Bruh. They're a They're a big country. But the not UK like the US and Russia. The UK. So if the UK and Russia went to war. Who would win? It doesn't matter. They're not going to war. They're helping but Ukraine. I'm saying, and if, that's and what. That's how. It's, that's the real power. If what? these country, this country went to war. Who would win? That's the power. That is the power. For Russia. That's why people are scared of Russia because they got power. Why don't we try to be cool with them then? True. We. I think we try, but you know, Russia and US always had beef. You know, since yeah. the Cold War and all that. They trying to be who the strongest superpower country. I'm and gonna, China. I'm gonna just keep it. Right. If Russia and China gang, gang up on us, I'm not gonna lie. We I, I, I are done. The, I couldn't be the president because I would have just been nuked them. I'm like, you got a problem, bitch? I got nukes. Nuke, <laughs> nuke. I'm nuking you and your children. War crime. Who you gonna prosecute? I just nuke them niggas. I will nuke you too. What <laughs> the fuck? He don't care about nobody. He I don't give a people. fuck. He a heartless. Yeah. Cold Cold heart. If I was the leader, I'm. Pr- Yo, I need Kim Jong, you go what? Uh, he need I'm, to be I'm, Kim Jong. I'm, 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 I'm yeah, gonna send some people to be. be. If Kim Jong will threaten me, I'm gonna send some boats. Send I'm that a, the North Korea. South Korea, and I'm sinking that motherfucker. Boom. Who won't smoke? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going for none of it. We can't do that. We gotta be anti-war, guys. Yeah. Make America I'm not, great again. I'm anti-war. I'm, I'm pro nukes. <laughs> Nuke them. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Trump did say that. He said, I just didn't want any more bodies dying. <laughs> yeah, Don't give me the launch this codes. This shit's crazy. Bro. I'm, I'm, so I'm, deep, I'm, I'm a quick solutions guy. What do we do? Well, we, yeah, what can we do, bro? I was totally kidding, though, y'all. I wouldn't nuke everybody. This is a joke. joke. That, that I, is... Really, I really don't know too much about foreign politics. But from what I do know, that's where I come up with the idea. Like, 
I just think it's messed up that we send all these billions of dollars to Ukraine. And these other Europe mm-hmm. countries are not sending not well, as I, much money I, I, as the US I don't know money. what they're doing on that. I really don't have Look that much knowledge. But I just don't think it's fair how we send all that money overseas and like people are suffering in our country. And, and, and Hawaii yeah, is just, problem, Hawaii is just one of the, the many examples that you can find of that. Yeah. But I feel like no matter what, even if we put money into the country, it still have problems in the country. Yeah, I know. Definitely. Everybody's got well, problems. Well, 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 what country? Our country? Yes. I, I, we I, got I, people with pipes that, that, that can't get clean water. Multiple cities in Mississippi, no, Michigan. Saying, but if you fix that, there's going to be another we problem. Fentanyl, so, but we got to fend all problems. That, I'm, I'm going to keep it 100, though. I would rather U.S. tax dollars go to fixing U.S. problems than go to fixing foreign affairs. Yeah, but these foreign affairs could cause U.S. problems, too. How? You want to know something? If, if Russia it, invades the U.S. They're not going to invade the U.S. We don't know. No, how you know? Yeah, you think that big ass country gonna come with all these Americans with guns? Bro, not even just the military guys. They would do it. Then you gonna drop nukes too? Yeah. You said invade. You know what invade means? That's not mean? gonna happen. They fly over. Is that invading? No, invading that's means not, trying to take over. Yes, so flying it, over and bombing them. All right, guys. Invading. All right, we're off. No, topic. that's we're attacking. Off topic. All right, guys. Let's know what y'all think. We're out of here. Since you're a military general.